See, this kind of the question in the sequence and series is very common where one series you have to find it out by using the other series values given. First thing, let's understand the meaning of the question. Question means what? Okay, you have to find out the value of uh, this sigma. If this value is given E, E all of you know it's an irrational number. E is the irrational number. Actually, E power x series you should know. It's already given, but still I'm telling. E power x series is always equal to 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial. Very common uh, series. x power 4 by 4 factorial and so on. Understood? This is the E power x series. This is using the Taylor's method. We used to write this series. Similarly, sin x series is there, cos x series is there. Okay. So many every function series you can calculate. See, means you can express a function in term of the polynomial. But if you are converting a function in term of polynomial, then surely number of terms will be infinity. It will not be finite term. Okay. This is the e power x series. E power x series. You should know this. It's very important. In so many places we use this one. E power x series. So now actually what is the meaning of this i am trying to tell you it is not at all required but if you are knowing this it will be very easy if you put x equal to this x equal to 1 both sides so what will get e e is the 1 plus 1 plus this x also you can write x by 1 factorial just for simplicity understand 1 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial and so on in fact, if you expand this, you will get 1 by 0 factorial, that is the 1, plus 1 by 1 factorial, same thing will come. That's what they are trying to tell you. Understand? Chalo, let's come to this question. First, this question, let's make it clean. It's looking very uh, weird kind of things. Uh, nth term is given. Nth term is given as a what? n cube into 2n factorial plus 2n minus 1 into n factorial divided by n factorial into 2n factorial. Right? So, what I will do whenever this is not APGP or something which you can use direct formula. So, whenever you are not able to use direct formula, you have to write always in the difference method or general term method and then get the answer. So, Tn, I can write it as, divide it here. If you divide it here, what will happen? 2n factorial, 2n factorial will get cancelled. You will get n cube by n factorial. Plus 2n minus 1 by 2n factorial. Because here n factorial will get cancelled. Uh, what is my purpose? What I want? I want to write in this format. So that key, I can do the things. So, Tn, from here, n factorial, all of you know, n factorial, any moment of time, I can write it as what? n into n minus 1 factorial, any moment of time. So, this is the n, in, uh, n into n minus 1 factorial, 1 n will get cancelled. You will get n square by n minus 1 factorial. Plus, here you can divide 2 n by 2 n factorial. So, that will become what? 1 by 2 n minus 1 factorial minus 1 by 2n factorial. Now this and this I will not disturb because this is coming in that format. 1 by some n factorial. How it will come exactly that format we will discuss. Now this is the problem. n square I don't want. I want 1 by n factorial format or 2n factorial or 3n factorial something like that. So n square can I write I can add I can subtract 1 and I can add a 1. Yes or no? So, if you subtract and add to, and divide it here and here, so you will get Tn equal to n square minus 1. n square minus 1, I can write n minus 1, n plus 1, divided by n minus 1 factorial, yes or no, plus, uh, plus 1 by n minus 1 factorial, plus 1 by 2n minus 1 factorial, minus 1 by 2n factorial. Correct. This much done. 
from here n minus 1 n minus 1 will get cancelled what will left be n minus 1 factorial i can write what n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial so tn will be n plus 1 by n minus 2 factorial still game is not over and this is i'm not disturbing as it is i'm copying and pasting it here because this part already done right so this part as it is i'm doing it here this n plus 1 again i can do something because still n is there so this n plus 1 what i can write n plus 1 n plus 1 i can write n minus 2 plus 3 so tn will be equal to and divide it here n minus 2 factorial you'll get n minus 2 by n minus 2 factorial plus 3 by n minus 2 factorial plus same thing uh, just minute. i think uh, uh, i pasted it two times so it's created the problem I can just remove it right and I will paste it here uh, this portion I will what was there uh, I forgot plus 1 by n minus this is the cancel and uh, plus 1 by 2 minus a minus this portion n plus 1 and this is 1 by n minus 1 1 by 2 n minus 1 factorial minus 1 by 2 n factorial yes so plus 1 by n minus 1 factorial correct plus 1 by 2 n minus 1 factorial minus 1 by 2 n factorial this if you divide what will happen n minus 2 will get cancelled and tn equal to you'll get what uh, 1 by n minus 3 factorial this is perfectly done everything in the form of 1 by n factorial everything in the form of 1 by n factorial so we can proceed be clear we have to do some we have to find s equal to what sigma tn n equal to 0 to infinity but since we split so we have to make sure key factor remember factorial is not defined for negative value factorial 0 is defined that is what but factorial negative is not defined it's not defined there's no sense of this there is no sense of this so when you are putting sigma everywhere you have to make sure that the limit should be changed you cannot put n equal to zero here because this will become negative so s equal to sigma i'm putting here sigma 1 by n minus 3 factorial and n will vary from 3 to infinity why 1 and 2 why not 0 1 2 because otherwise it will not be defined plus 3 into sigma 1 by n minus 2 factorial and again n will be 2 to infinity plus sigma n uh, 1 by n minus 1 factorial n equal to 1 to infinity and here plus sigma n equal to 0 you cannot put 1 to infinity 1 by 2 n fact minus 1 factorial I'm sure able to understand everybody, right? Just the space and cleaning. Minus sigma 1 by 2n factorial n equal to 0 to infinity. Here 0 to infinity, I can substitute. Now expand question over. This means what? Put 3, the 1 by 0 factorial uh, plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial so on up to infinity plus 3 into here 2 put it so 1 by 0 factorial plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial so on plus here put it so what will come 1 by 0 factorial plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus so on up to infinity now here here this is the tricky point caught watch carefully this one one if we'll put the one by one factorial 
टू पुट इट तो वन बाई थ्री फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन बाई फाइव फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन बाई सेवन फैक्टोरियल सो ऑन एंड दिस वन माइनस वन बाई जीरो फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन बाई टू फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन बाई फोर फैक्टोरियल आर यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड सो ऑन नाउ वॉच केयरफुल दिस इज योर ई ई इज वॉट वन बाई दिस यू कैन राइट जीरो फैक्टोरियल नो प्रॉब्लम वन बाई जीरो फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन बाई वन फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन बाई टू फैक्टोरियल दिस ई तो हंड्रेड परसेंट दिस बिकम ई तो एस इक्वल टू ई दिस इज ऑल्सो ई प्लस थ्री ई दिस इज ऑल्सो ई प्लस ई एंड दिस इज नॉट ई दिस इज नॉट ई बट आई कैन नोटिस वन थिंग वन बाई वन फैक्टोरियल इज देयर जीरो फैक्टोरियल इज ऑल्सो देयर एवरीथिंग इज देयर बट दिस इज द माइनस ठीक है लेट्स कंबाइन दैम तो वट यू गेटिंग माइनस वन बाई जीरो फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन बाई वन फैक्टोरियल दिस टू आई एम कंबाइनिंग तो दिस द माइनस दिस द प्लस माइनस वन बाई टू फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन बाई थ्री फैक्टोरियल माइनस वन बाई फोर फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन बाई फाइव फैक्टोरियल एंड सो ऑन दिस इज द ओनली प्रॉब्लम लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस आई वॉन्ट हियर माइनस तो वन माइनस आई वॉन्ट If you replace x by minus one, x by minus one. Watch carefully, everybody. X by minus one. X by minus one. I'm putting. So what you'll get? E power minus one equal to one minus one by one factorial. Means one by zero factorial. You can write plus one by two factorial, minus one by three factorial, plus one by four factorial, and so on. So that means I can write this one as a one by minus one. But problem is that one here zero factorial coefficient should be plus one means odd coefficient odd integer factorial should be coefficient is negative and even integer factorial is the positive this is what and here odd is positive but even is negative so why not we do one thing take minus common from here e plus three e plus four four e plus here. this is the five e it's not minus common from here. So what you'll get? One by zero factorial minus one by one factorial plus one by two factorial minus one by three factorial plus so on. And this is nothing but e power minus one. So it means s equal to five e minus one by e. This is the answer. But I guess they gave you answer. They guess a e plus b e plus c. It means this must be equal to a e plus b e. Sorry, b by e, b by e, b by e plus c. Right? This is the e power minus one. E power minus one is what? One by e. So now, if you compare, both are same thing. So you'll get a equal to five and b equal to minus one and c equal to zero. This is the what the answer. But they ask you what? A square minus b plus c. A square minus b plus c. So a square minus b. Plus c will be equal to 25 minus minus 1 plus 0. Or you can say 26. So 26 will be the answer. Did you understand? It's a simple question, but one two point you have to be clear. It means that e power x series you should be clear. I'm sure it's clear to everybody. Okay, so it's a, a good question asked by the one of the student. So I'm putting that as a video solution so that everybody can understand okay tell you thank you